So this question keeps popping up. What are the strengths of SOLIDWORKS compared to Rhino? And uh, to be honest, I think that has a lot to do with how you use the program, uh, what your comfort levels are with the interfaces, um, how you think, etc. The kind of projects that you're, you're that you're working on. Uh, so, for instance, where would I use Rhino? It, it as um, an exact noted, it, it is very good for situations like this where you've got you know, a scan model here, and you're you're wanting to retopologize over it. So I've got this poly mesh uh, layer here, and I can turn that off. Um, and basically what you're doing is you're laying these clean surfaces over a really uh, dense um, CAD model. Yeah, so you can, let's turn points on for that. I mean, that's, that's a little bit heavy there, but it, I guarantee you that's going to be a lot lighter than a SOLIDWORKS surface is. Also, if we turn our curves on, or I'm going to turn this curve on here and do the same command. Creating a clean curve like this oops, is uh, pretty difficult to do in SOLIDWORKS, uh, or you don't really know how clean the curve is. You're doing intersection curves or composite curves created by the intersection of two surfaces. Um, there's a lot of workarounds that you have, but you really don't have a point control level of uh, of splines and curves. Same thing with surfaces. I can't pick a SOLIDWORKS surface and turn its control points on. So you really don't know whether it's garbage surfaces or not. You kind of have to open it up in another program. And it's sometimes it is surprisingly smooth if you use arcs and uh, lines. The, the surfaces are going to be... Uh, relatively clean um, even with boundary surfaces uh, many of the surfaces are clean but you just don't know you don't have this level of point control command over the kind of um, work that you're doing now I just showed you one of the strengths and the weaknesses of, of Rhino you can start pushing and pulling uh, but anytime you have to you know if you want these to, to marry up uh, it can be problematic whereas um, you set those relationships up correctly in in SOLIDWORKS, and you know the history tree is is a very powerful, powerful thing. Um, I don't know. I, w one thing I do like about I'm gonna make a new document here, and I'm not gonna save that out. So lately, I might start out and create a you know series of curves, and. Let's say something like that here. You can start off in 2D. And what's nice is that you can turn the points on, for instance, and even rebuild the surface. use the gumball orientation and you can start doing some pretty nice surface controls so that's nice <clears throat> that's really cool and and you could you could do that in many different t versions of I mean from the first version you could do the stuff like that but what I like about the latest version is that you can pick a face and duplicate it by hitting control and alt together it automatically extrudes out and knits together a, a solid so you can take that out further and you can start to do operations with it. So let's actually bring that back down. And I'll do another further tweak here. All right, so take that and start to scale it in. Start to scale that in. So you can see that that starts to be a pretty powerful surfacing or just a concepting tool there. 
So already you've got, you know, a lot of your curves and whatnot built in there. I mean, where I, actually I didn't have to create too, too many curves at all. And I can eyeball many of the different shapes. And it's updating these intersections. So, so it's, a, it's a very nice um, development of the, the Rhino feature set. Uh, you can also like do cuts into the surface so I'm gonna make a duplicate Oops. here gonna thicken that in a similar way pick the face there move that down move that over and then you can do <coughs> booleans boolean difference try that again a little bit more depth So there you go, and then with that you can even do further further operations. And pretty quickly you, you create a relatively complex surface. Now let's now if I wanted to move this out that way, it'll probably blow up the tree. Yeah. So you know, there's there's limitations to what this can do, but um, actually, let's let's go ahead and take this into SolidWorks and see what that looks like. So I'm going to save this out. Save it as a Rhino 4 file. Come on over to. Run import diagnostics, so you can kind of see that it comes in as a as a solid in here, and you can do shelling operations. Insert feature shell. I have no idea how big it is. So, <laughs> okay, so this is actually a pretty small object. Uh, but you can see there's a, there's a lot of cool things that, that you can do in here. And like say for instance that you know what I was talking about before with the 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 surfacing commands like cutting like butter, um, you can take that and delete face. Let's do a delete and patch. And SolidWorks, you know, it really feels like you can hack and slash through. Uh, through models, you can, you know, it, it understands the relationships that are happening between, or what the underlying surfaces are, and um, it can do a lot of cool things with it. So, for instance, here, so I can f move that face, insert face, move, and translate it over, say like that, right? And you'll see that it's keeping the the underlying surfaces you know, kind of what it was before and it's just moved them over and it's automatically trimmed all the pieces and whatnot in here it's a little bit again it's it's just different quirks from each program what it's capable of 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 doing so moving things around like this um, kind of cutting through 
um, cutting through and doing booleans and whatnot. It's just a lot easier to do that in so in SolidWorks. Now I think the shell is probably going to fail, but you know, it helps to try it out. Um, I haven't really talked anyway. Th those are some of the observations that I've had. Obviously, there's just a lot more um, things that you could do, um, and I'm sure people are going to chime in. Uh, but those are some of the maybe differences that, that I've seen that SOLIDWORKS is really good at this kind of operation detailing things out um, it deals with um, heavy NURBS files very easily things that make Rhino slow down and chug um, SOLIDWORKS just you know, powers through it um, it can uh, it's, it's very capable of handling large large files and not so much in Rhino but if you're you know if you're interested in point level control or quick concept modeling, you know, like like I did here. Um, Rhino is is pretty nice. So I mean, what I'll do is, you know, I'll, I'll make models like this that look pretty decent. Take it into um, SolidWorks after I've done a few iterations and and restart it in SolidWorks. Even in SolidWorks, you're not working with one model. You're working with four or five uh, different iterative models as you're progressing down your pipeline. So. Hopefully that helps.